Hey, Mark. Hi, Chris. What's going on, man? Just enjoying the evening. <laughs> <laughs> so you're an Albuquerquean? Yeah, I was born here. Right on, man. So uh, love it here. I've been um, everybody I run into, at least in this in this area here, between here and Santa Fe, says that this area has just kind of a unique music scene going on. It's like, especially for creative music, there's a there's a there's an audience, which is something I'm not used to. And being in Dallas, it's pretty shunned there, man. Everybody's doing like funk R&B, doing commercial gigs, just you know cover bands I'm sure that stuff exists here but yeah I don't know I you know maybe it's just the the bigger metropolitan area every things tend to get buried and here maybe it's just small enough so that you can actually find things happening in, right on. in the corners of the town you know I mean it seems like I mean the venues come and go all the time if there's a venue open you rush to get into it because yeah. next thing you know it'll be gone so right on uh, but say it just keeps happening you know there's something about New Mexico, that where people just they, they just have this creative spirit and they just keep going. Even though right on. Uh, the economics aren't there, but you know, <laughs> hey, man, going. nobody. Can, it was hard to make a living being a musician, man. I know that even the best musicians are just struggling. So usually have a day gig or something. So you're a tuba player, right? Right. Yeah. Is that your that's your main main, yeah. main instrument? Yeah. I play. Sometimes I play a little trombone. Sometimes I have a didgeridoo. I play sometimes. But <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, mostly tuba. Yeah. So you started playing like probably like when I did, maybe as a kid, oh. like junior yeah. high kind of a thing. Right. I played uh, first time I played tuba. I, I played sousaphone in sixth grade, and then in high school I played mainly trombone. Right on. But then after I after I graduated from college, I started playing tuba, and I've been focusing on that ever since. Cool, cool. And in, as far as like the kind of music you're really um, like, if you had a choice, like what would be like? This is what I would like. This is the kind of music I would like to play. Probably your original compositions. Most that's yeah. what most musicians right. would, yeah, would probably say. But right, I, I have I have a quartet that that play that's functions basically as a, as a vehicle for my own writing and that, that's probably the most important thing I do but I, I do uh, you know Jeff I enjoy playing with Patty and uh, I, I do a lot of things in more kind of improvisational settings which I really like as well just jumping off into it and just and yeah just interacting like free with the improv musicians. type things yeah, yeah. And, I, and I have actually for a number of years I've been in a group here that's it's a group that does that. It's a, it's a it's a trio, but we always have a guest uh, a guest player with us. So we always perform as a quartet, and it's always it changes kind of a free it when you throw another yeah, totally ingredient in there. It. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, I totally dig. I got a I got a duo thing that we do with the drums and trumpet thing I was telling you about. Uh -huh. And then we always you know we always try to invite um, you know yes. a guitar player, even another horn player, but guitar, keyboard. Um, my drummer likes playing with another drummer, even doing two, a two drummer thing. Right. Which is, which is tough, man. If you get, you know, you gotta get the right personalities you there. You definitely have to get the right. And one. you gotta work together, and that's just, you know, that's the way the musical language is supposed to be. You know, working together and making sense out of everything. I guess. Yeah, and then the, you know, the, like the stronger players, they 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 take it more into uh, the areas they're into, you know, and it's just it's really great to to always have kind of a guest. I guess wild card in there, you know, mm. to shake things up. Besides the music stuff, man, I mean, I, it sounds like you're pretty busy with with music. How often how often do you get a chance to perform and play and well, use, use that outlet? Not a whole lot. I I perform maybe three or four times a month, cool. you know, on various things. I, I I play in a kind of a traditional jazz group that plays sometimes, and uh, you know, I. I I, I really just like playing, and I feel like just about any type of playing is going to help the things that I'm most interested in. So I, I I'm open to a lot of different types of situations. And, I know. Uh, I'm, I'm working right now on a, a music series that this is my my third year. That's called the Roost. Yeah. And it's a two month series, and it's one one show per week for two months, and. It's been going really well. We've we've changed the venue every year. We're in a new venue again this year, but I think it's going to be a really good space. Is that local musicians only, or are you bringing people no, in from other spots? There's there's a lot of traveling musicians. It's probably I, 
I think over half of them are traveling musicians. From in the country here? Yeah, a lot on the in the western region, but not all. Mostly, mostly in the western region. Cool. Just people, you know, kind of a network of people that I know. I just kind of send out the word early in the year and see who's interested, and and then pick pick a a schedule of bands. And what what inspired you to start that thing three years ago? Well, I. For me, when I when I've been touring, it seemed like towns this size or larger, there would always be some kind of some kind of something happening on the fringes where where creative music was happening. Things were you know things were allowed to germinate. You know there were people that were open to stuff that wasn't necessarily commercially oriented, and a lot of times it had to do with somebody that just took it on to, to do a series and just took it on as a project and that's one that seemed like one of the main ways that, that people were able to you know try new kinds of music and, and interact and network with uh, with musicians and I just felt like it was the right thing for Albuquerque I wanted to try it worked out fine so the musicians seem pretty uh, pretty encouraged when they have an opportunity to be showcased like that and yeah, you know, there hasn't been a lot of money, but the, the musicians have all been really happy to play, and they feel like it's a really congenial environment, and they, you know, they mainly just want a, an audience that's open to music, you know, sure, open sure. to things, and that's, that's what is the main, the main thing. Get some people listening to them. So what's the next, uh, you got this Roost thing, but what's, uh, any, any yeah. new projects, any, any dream projects? Well, I'm in, I'm in a like new trio right now with, uh, Santa Fe drummer named Milton Villarubia, who's really fun to play with, and a saxophonist named Sean Woodyard. And this is brand new. We're going to play in the Roost, actually. And I'm, right on. It's nice to have a new project going. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, cool. Well, I can't wait to hear you play here in just a bit, man. And thanks for inviting thanks, me down to come check it out. And um, yeah, this, this place is to. really, really great. The Outpost Performance Space. I'm hoping we can come back through. Maybe even, maybe even get a spot on a showcase to be in the mix of it and do a set or something be an, op be an opener of the opener or something mm -hmm. you know yeah. in, the, in the future uh, this is an exceptional space uh, and it's really it's meant a lot to uh, the music community here in Albuquerque right on man alright we'll see you in a bit alright <laughs>